Hey guys, Gina here. Um, welcome to Let's Talk Life, my weekly series on different topics about what comes up in life. Um, I'm jumping on a few minutes early today because I have a student of mine who is doing her first Facebook Live in a few minutes and I wanna jump on and support her. And so I, I decided to jump on um, a few minutes early so I can at least catch some of her video. Um, what I want to talk about today is difficult conversations. So last week, um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I didn't do my weekly series on Let's Talk Life last Wednesday at 12 p.m. And I'll tell you why. Um, I didn't do it because I was having a difficult conversation with someone who is very important to me. A relationship and the meaningful and difficult conversation and I chose not to do the let's talk life last week because my relationship I felt was very important hey Nicole and so I'm okay with that but I have to tell you someone did call me to say hey did you do your video <laughs> I didn't see it and so no last week I did not do my video on let's talk life because I was having a really difficult conversation with someone who I love very much and so I chose to honor my relationship and stay present for that and I'm doing a video this week right and so I appreciate those of you who um, reached out to me because I didn't do it and noticed and also I appreciate the flexibility in you know things things come up right and I try to prioritize as things come up but today I want to talk about you know having a difficult conversation and so sometimes it's really uncomfortable it's not always easy you know there's there's somebody who, you know, maybe makes you, you know, think differently or look at yourself differently or says something that offends you or, you know, might bother you or say something that's hurtful. Um, and what comes of that is it has to have a conversation. And if you're having a conversation about it, then you'll find out what's really going on because more times than not, it's not always about you. It's about what's going on in their life, what's coming up for them, um, what resonated with them at that moment that brought them back to a toxic or a negative experience in their past. And so I had this difficult conversation because someone that I love very much and I care about, um, you know, I, I saw this person after a while and she wasn't very nice and I didn't feel good about it and it bothered me um, because we are very close, very, very close and it matters. And so I chose to call her when I was feeling better um, and I was in a place where I was able to be open-minded to sharing what was what was coming up for me and what I was feeling, but also that I would be open enough to hear her point and her perspective. And that's, that's it, right? So what I did was I, I called her up and I said, I really want to talk. Um, I'm hurt. I'm disappointed, whatever it is that I was feeling. And this is why. So I cut right to the chase. It wasn't warm and fuzzy when I started the conversation. It was matter of fact, you know, like, listen, you're important to me and I'm here because something bothers me or I can't stop thinking about this or you know I feel offended and I don't know that that was your intention I don't believe that that was your intention and so I had this conversation I have to tell you it was the best thing I could have done and it was difficult and you know there were emotions running high um, and sometimes you know we hear what we don't want to hear or sometimes we have to tell somebody something that they're not going to want to hear, and that's okay. The most important thing is communicating and opening up your relationship, right? We're human beings. Nobody's perfect, right? Um, everyone might at some point or another do or say something that might not sit well with someone else, but it doesn't mean it's about them. And so don't take it personally, um, the four agreements, one of the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, one of my favorite easy reads on um, wellness and mindset um, and as a mindset life transformation coach that's what I do I focus on shifting mindsets right and sometimes you know we're not in a good place 
we have so much going on, we're feeling overwhelmed, we're not nourishing ourselves or giving ourselves time for what it is that we need for ourselves, for our mind, for our body, for our soul, for our relationships. It's hitting the pause button and taking a step back and saying, okay, what do I want? What do I want to be experiencing? What do I want to have the outcome of a conversation, right? Um, do I want to have a conversation? Is this relationship valuable enough or means enough to me to have a conversation, even though it's going to be difficult? Yeah, so I did. And I have to tell you, best thing ever, um, and I've made that a practice of having difficult conversations um, when I feel like they need to be had. Um, and again, it's not all, it's not always about you, but it doesn't mean that someone's actions or behaviors weren't hurtful, right? And so, just knowing that, you know, you have the option to say, hey, you can call somebody out right there when someone says or does something that affects you in not such a great way. Or you can calm down and call them on it some, some other time when you're in a better place to have a conversation that you're not only able to share respectfully, but also be open to hearing. Right, because there are always two sides. And so what my perception of what went down and what, what happened was very different than someone else's. And it doesn't mean mine is right and theirs is wrong or theirs is right and mine is wrong. It just means it's different. And that's okay because we're all unique. And our identity is based on our beliefs that are learned based on all of our experiences in our past. And I know I've said this before. Right, but those beliefs are learned. And so if you're not having a conversation with someone, they're gonna go on the beliefs that they learned based on past experiences. And so something I said triggered somebody in not such a good way based on a, an experience they had that had nothing to do with me. So it wasn't about me and what I said necessarily, but it it tied to a negative feeling based on an experience someone had. And so I gotta say. The best thing to do is have a conversation. It might not feel good. It's not always easy. But say what you mean. Be authentic. Um, don't point fingers saying, you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. It's more about, hey, listen, when we saw each other or when we spoke last or whatever it was, um, you know, I feel hurt, or I feel disappointed, or I feel disrespected, or I feel like, you know, you're not taking me seriously, or you're not valuing me, or, or our relationship, or our friendship, or I feel like I'm being put on the back burner, right? It's about how we feel. Others' behaviors, other people's behaviors, it's how we feel. We can't control their behavior, but we do control how we feel. So having a conversation with someone and letting them know the impact of what they've said or done, the impact that it had on you, it's so much more powerful than pointing a finger at someone going, you did this, you did that. No, you don't, you don't, it's not about what you did and what you, you know, you didn't do. It's about how you feel and what you're being present to and what you're showing up to. Hey, Alicia, thanks for joining. Um, the story I'm making up about what you said. So, oh, I love Brene Brown. Yeah, so it puts the ownership on the interpreter, but allows the other person to respond. Yeah, there's so much. There's so much around conversations and difficult conversations. Um, but I have to tell you, every single time I've had a difficult conversation, there's a growth moment for me. There was a growth moment for the other person. And more times than not, our relationship was strengthened and is so much better than before, right? And then there were times where, I decided we had the conversation and we agreed to disagree and that's okay. But there are also times where I'm just going to decide that, you know what, I don't want to surround myself with this and so I'm going to choose to step back and distance myself from the relationship and that's okay, right? Because we have to take care of what we need as a person, right? We, mom, we might be daughters, siblings, aunts, um, parents neighbors, cousins, whatever, family members, but we're all individuals and we all have feelings and we all have purpose, even though we don't all know what that purpose is. But sharing 
and being vulnerable and caring enough about your relationship to say, hey, this doesn't feel good. And I'm not pointing fingers. I'm just saying, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but it doesn't feel good. And here's why. Now, I don't think that someone's intention is to, you know, always be hurtful, especially the people I surround myself with. The people I surround myself with, their intention is to never be hurtful. Um, and that's who I choose to surround myself self with right um, absolutely Alicia growth opportunities it's growth for both sides it's difficult and it's scary and when you get into the practice of doing it having difficult conversations it becomes so much easier because you're talking about the impact it had on you not necessarily what they did wrong or what you think that they did wrong it's about how it affected you they may or may not change and that's okay but how it affected you you have to you have to communicate in every relationship. If you are not communicating, you are leaving it up to someone to assume what you meant or what you're feeling or what you're thinking. And people are assuming based on their identity, right, their perception of the world, which is based on the beliefs that they learned in their life through their own experiences. So they're not learning, hey, Susan, um, they're not learning based on anything other than their own experiences if you're not communicating. So they're assuming. And usually it's not right. It's not accurate. Right? So don't let other people assume. And don't assume. Maybe it doesn't feel good, but it might just be where you are in your head today. You might not be having a good day. Right? So you don't need to assume. Just have the conversation. Say, listen, hey, I want to talk to you for a minute about something. When, let me know when you have some, some time for, for just a, a conversation. You know, and don't do it by text messaging. Communicating by text messaging other than saying things like, hey, you know, running late, I'll be there in a few, or on my way, or... But to have a conversation by a text message, I understand that times change, but you're not reading. What you read is going to come across based on where you are in your head. So what you're reading would be very different and what you feel, hey Joey, might be very different than what someone else might feel, right? And so, yeah, so not everyone is empathetic. I happen to be a very caring and empathetic person. I feel other people's emotions. I feel it deeply. It used to affect me. But it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, abusively, right? They don't, they, they might not respond the way you would respond, but they're, that's okay. Just get across what it is you want to say. They don't have to agree, but that's it. It's just a conversation. Um, and who knows what's to come? So you need to have a difficult conversation with someone. It's not easy, but I can promise you it's worth it. You'll either move forward and with an understanding, you'll agree to disagree, or you'll agree, you'll find a common ground, and you'll move forward with more strength and a better relationship and more appreciation for each other. Right? And that's so important because deep and meaningful relationships, I don't know, but for me, I'm not a face value type of person like, you know, just the weather or, you know, what's coming up for you. Like, I really want to have deep and meaningful conversations. I'm not just small talk. Um, I don't enjoy small talk. Um, I try not to have it. <laughs> um, I would like to have a real conversation with people. Um, and it doesn't have to be always deep, but it should be meaningful. Um, and that's how I choose. That's who I choose to surround myself with: people who are open to, you know, creating a stronger relationship. Um, whether it's with my students that I coach, or whether it's with my teams that I coach, or whether I'm just coaching other coaches, or being coached, right? Because I have a coach. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. Just show up, say what you mean, um, mean what you say, be authentic, right? Be your authentic self. And if you don't know how to do that, reach out to me. We can have a conversation about how I can support you in transitioning or transforming the way you communicate and build relationships. That's what coaches do. So 
Well, that's just a part of what I do. <laughs> There's so many things. Um, but I'm here for you. If you know somebody um, that could use to hear this message, please share, tag them. Um, thank you, Alicia, for engaging so much. I appreciate it. You're right. Hard conversations, they keep us in full alignment. And they honor our authentic self. Absolutely. Um, so thank you for sharing. Thank you guys for joining. Um, I did create a YouTube channel. All these videos will be live, and I will share that on my Facebook page. Um, next week, I will be traveling. Um, I most likely will not be able to do Let's Talk Life at 12 o'clock. I might pop on here and there, but I am going um, to do some self-healing <laughs> and growth on a uh, Reiki and yoga retreat in Sedona, and it's something that I've been planning for a very long time, and I'm going to nourish what I need, and then I'm going to come back and go to a conference, a coaching conference back in Arizona, and um, go from there. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Tag someone, share the message, let me know what resonated for you, um, and just talk, talk, talk about what it is coming up for you um, and what you want to see happen out of a relationship, what goals do you have as far as um, for the outcome, right? What do you want the outcome of the conversation to be or what would you like to see happen? What would you like to experience? And have the conversation and then you'll know for sure whether you're going to continue to build or you're going to say, you know what, I appreciated this while it lasted. It's no longer right for me. I'm going to take a step back. It doesn't mean I don't care, I don't love you or I don't want to ever see or speak to you again. It just means right now I'm going to take a step back and that's okay too because you have to do what you need and everyone else will either understand and allow it or they won't understand and they'll step away and that's okay because those people are not meant to be in your life anyway. And so it's about you. It's about what you need. It's about communicating what resonates with you. It's about building relationships. Having difficult conversations strengthens relationships. But learning how to communicate effectively strengthens the relationships because it's not just what you say, it's how you say it. I'm sure that many of you have heard that before. Um, it's how you say it. So go out there. If you need something on your mind, you need to talk to someone. It might be your kid. Just say, hey, listen, you know, when you ignore me, if you're talking to your team, when you ignore me or when you disregard what I've asked from you, it makes me feel like, you don't care about me. And when someone says that to you and you're like, wait, what? That's not what I just, I'm a kid and you're my parent and parents don't have feelings and right? So, <laughs> but that's not it. If somebody needs to understand the impact of their behavior that it has on you and what it feels like. So go and have that conversation. Um, it doesn't need to be long and drawn out. It could be short. Um, but it needs to be authentically you and to the point. So show up, show up for yourself, show up for the people in your life, um, build those relationships, and don't worry about what everyone else thinks or feels or says or judges or whatever. Who cares? Just show up, be you, do you, have the conversation, build your relationships with authenticity, letting people know how their behavior affects you, and also asking what you could do to support them in their growth, right? Because it's not just one way. It's, it's how you can support each other. So go out, do it, have a difficult conversation, build that relationship, make it stronger, um, and see what happens because what's possible, anything. Anything and everything is possible when you're open to it, when you're open to giving, when you're open to receiving, when you don't care about what other people, you know, think or judge and you just want to share what it is coming up for you and lay the cards out on the table and go from there and be real right we need real authentic people in this world we need people who care and show that they care right so many of us have had and I had it myself built a wall um, you don't need to build a wall I know that it's a protection mode. You build a wall. You know, you've had some bad experiences growing up, and it might be with your parents. It might be with a sibling. It might be what, with, with whatever, friends. 
know. Um, but you don't need to build a wall. Just be yourself. Live what you are meant to live. Live how you are meant to live. Don't worry about everyone else. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are doing the best. Your intentions are true and authentic. And go from there and live your life. And create the circle around you of people who, you know, want to share that vision for themselves or learn from each other, right? Create the, the circles in your life that are meaningful and powerful um, and they align with what you're aligned with, your morals, your values, right? What's important to you? What are your priorities? Surround yourself with supportive people in an environment that support that and be open to conversation. Right? Someone might tell you something you're not going to want to hear, and that's okay. Just, you know what, at least they shared. <laughs> they don't know how to communicate, but they shared, and maybe you can help them with that. Well, thanks again. Um, been on for 20-something minutes. Anyway, I'm going to jump off, and hopefully I catch my student who's doing her first live. I'm very excited. Getting out there on social media, let them know what it is that they're doing. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Again, if you or anyone you know, um, could use to hear this message, share it, tag it. Um, I will upload it to my YouTube channel and um, let me know. Reach out, let me know how I can support you. And if I'm not the right coach for you, I have a, a, a whole bunch of masterful coaches that I can certainly connect you with. Um, whatever it is, the most important thing is, is growth, transformation, um, and change is good. Not always comfortable, but it's good. So have a great day. I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope to see you soon.